up here, Biko, side booster separation, that'll be the separation from the center core, the center core will continue to carry stage two with the payload until it shuts down its engines with Miko and performs a standard stage separation like you see on a Falcon 9. And there you can see on your screen, on your right hand screen, some views from the side boosters and a really awesome view of Falcon Heavy on your left hand screen with all of those engines burning really bright there. Coming up on Miko in, Pico in a few seconds here. This engine cut off. Side booster separation confirmed. Come back, Joe. Startup. And great news, we were able to also see that live on your screen, Pico, the side boosters have separated from the center core and we have the startup of the boost back burn on both of those side boosters looking really awesome there on your screen. Now the side boosters are returning to Florida under the power of three engines. Coming up are a few events in rapid succession. That will be the conclusion of the side booster's boost back burn, Miko, stage separation of the center core and the second stage, as well as SES-1 or the NVAC engine igniting on the second stage. SES-1 stands for second stage engine startup. And as I mentioned previously, per the request of our customer, we will not be showing second stage views after SES-1. Additionally, our center core or stage one is expendable today, so we will not be attempting to recover it but we will be following the side boosters back to land, so you can continue to stay tuned for that. And we're coming up on the conclusion of the side boosters burn. Booster boost track shut down. Stage separation confirmed. And there we were also able to see and hear the call outs for the side boosters, boost back burns concluding. We had Miko, our main engine cut off of the center core, as well as stage separation, and also heard confirmation that the NVAC engine has ignited. Now, as we mentioned before, Bearing separation confirmed. 
and great call out there. Also a confirmation that the fairing has separated from the second stage. Again, we will be attempting to recover those fairing halves when they fall back to Earth using our recovery vessel, Doug. Trajectory is nominal. Now, again, as I mentioned earlier, the center core was not built to land or be reused. It is expendable, having given its all for the mission. Again, the entry burn is coming up here for the side boosters. Booster entry burn startup. And there's that call out that the entry burns have begun on the side boosters. And there you can see on your screen. Stage two, FTS is saved. You can see on your screen the engines have reignited. Booster entry burn shut down. PY FTS is saved. And a short NY, burn. NY FTS is saved. Short burn for both of those boosters, just under 20 seconds. All vehicles are on nominal trajectories. Great callouts there. All vehicles on nominal trajectories. Now, again, we do have one more burn for each of these side boosters coming up in just about 30 seconds. That is the landing burn. It's a single engine burn for each booster. And just one engine is powerful enough to slow the vehicles down and safely land back on land. Again, we are targeting, Transonic. targeting landing zone one and landing zone two for today's landings. Landing burn. And we heard that call out, and you can see on your screen that the engines have reignited. Landing one deploy. Let's watch as the side boosters touch down for landing. Stage two is in thermal guidance. Yeah, 